All right. Um, can you state your name and spell it for us, please? You don't have to give us your last name if you don't want to. Okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Talisa. I'm sorry? Talisa, Talisa. So, can you spell it for us, please? T A L I S A. And then where are we and what did you see tonight? Um, we are here on White Oak Avenue and Lawson um, here in Northridge. And what I saw was when I was driving with my friend, we were coming eastbound on Lawson. And then I saw two cars that were over there. Um, one of which is next to where the police unit is right now. That was that car was totally fine. There was another one that's engulfed in flames or was engulfed in flames. Um, what I saw was that there was two people that were inside the car. Um, a male, unidentified male, was inside the driver's seat. Um, unidentified female was on the passenger seat. And then there was three guys that were part of the car that was um, the opposite car. Um, they went ahead and they were they didn't know if they should or if they shouldn't drag the people out of the car um, because it was completely engulfed in flames both people were on fire completely and do you know if um, where the third I noticed there was three people injured uh, do you know where the third person came from or the third person that was in the engulfed car I came here after the fact of him being dragged out of okay that one. and you don't know if the, the other car was involved in the crash at all? From what I assume, no. Because the other cars seemed to have no damage on it, but it did, like when the police came, they completely hightailed they it out of here. Yeah. Okay, and then, um, so you, you, you saw Good Samaritans jumping in to this car that was fully on fire, trying to pull people out and save them. They, they weren't going to, so then I went out of the car, and I was going to, but I got afraid because the car was completely engulfed in flames, so I don't have the, the proper tools to get them out, and then um, they weren't going to, and then I told them to drag them out of there, and then they were still in the position of they don't know if they're going to or not, and then they dragged them out afterwards. I parked right over here, and then I got out of my car with emergency light on to go closer to the car and just in case if someone wasn't going to pull them out at the end I think maybe I would pull them out but do you live around here yeah, yeah um and this seems like a pretty violent crash have you ever seen a crash like this in this neighborhood I've before never or around seen a here crash like this engulfed in flames not like that um usually in these cases speed is a factor mm -hmm. um at this intersection particularly in this area have you noticed a problem with with people speeding and driving at high rates of speed? Yeah. Um, and then just uh, when did you get a look at the people that were in the car? Yeah, I did. I went up to I went up to next to them. I was going to perform CPR on the girl. Um, I was on the phone with 911, and he was guiding me on how to do it. But then the fire department came, and so I let them know. Okay. And it seemed like they were. You, you said they were younger, or they were probably in their early twenties. Like they're college kids. So college age kids. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, do you know what? Do you know if there's a big school around here or CSUN. A college? CSUN. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. No